face masks can come off as cover, but only in open and uncrowded public spaces and places. So orders the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases, or IATF, as the NCR and the entire nation eases to a new pandemic protocol arrangement that our Clazel Perdelia details in this report. Are you ready to take off your face mask in public? Why not? Siyempre, mahirap puminga eh. Pabor na pabor talaga kung tanggal yung face mask. Unang-una, um, sa expenses. Like, di ka naman pwede mag, uh, yung sinasabi na wash and wear na face mask. Abala lang yon. Tapos, ayun nga, wala kang pambili ng face mask. Hindi, kasi safety ito eh. Tapos, kagaya niyan, ali, yung usok ng sasakyan. Sa ngayon po, sa tingin ko po, hindi pa po dapat tanggalin ng face mask. Kasi, hindi po natin alam kung sino po yung may mga symptoms ngayon. Today, the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases recommended to President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. the voluntary wearing of face masks. But the Department of Health or DOH clarifies non-wearing of face masks is only allowed in outdoor spaces or non-covered areas. Open spaces like parks should not be crowded and should have proper ventilation. The DOH also strongly encourages senior citizens or elderly, those who are immunocompromised and those who have symptoms of COVID-19 to wear their face masks. This is optional. This is voluntary. Kailangan lahat tayo alam natin to assess our risk. Yung mga taong may simptomas, kahit po hindi crowded ang pinuntahan nyo, kailangan nyo pong mag-mask. Niliberalize natin yung paggamit ng mask sa outdoors pero dun sa low risk na individuals, meaning hindi sila matanda, hindi sila immunocompromised. And low risk setting, ibig sabihin, dun sa mga area na hindi matao at saka maayos ang daloy ng hangin. The Health Department also insists on more protection for children attending school. For them to ensure that their children are protected, especially when they go to school where there are a lot of students na lagyan pa rin ng mask ang mga bata hanggang makatapos nung kanilang session for school. And then when they go home, pag outdoor, pwede namang wala para nakakalaro rin ng maayos sa mga bata. The Department of the Interior and Local Government says the Philippines is delayed in implementing the voluntary wearing of face masks. In Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and other ASEAN countries, mandatory wearing of face masks has been lifted, but no high increase in cases of COVID-19 was observed. But the Health Department insists on a slow and safe return way to normal is necessary. That is why removing the face mask is still not allowed in indoor spaces. The DILG warns local government units that may implement different policies. Hindi po pwede magkakanyak-kanyak tayo at magkakagulo-gulo tayo rito. Kung meron naman dyan na gagalaw at sinasabi nga ni Secretary Yusek Berhere about the indoor, we, we have really to implement this one. Talagang, uh, talagang uh, didisiplinahin na natin yan. Meanwhile, Press Secretary Attorney Trixie Cruz Angeles clarified the lifting of the mandatory wearing of face masks is not final yet. It is still awaiting the green light from President Marcos Jr. He's optimistic uh, for now. The reception is optimistic. Uh, I would just like to remind everybody na dalawa po yung interes na binabalanse ng ating Pangulo dito. But may mga studies na nagpapresenta ng direct correlation between the removal of mask, mandatory mask mandate, at saka yung pagtaas ng turismo dun sa mga bayan. So, uh, on the other hand, hindi rin tayo basta-basta maaaring magbago ng ating health protocols nung wala tayong backup plan. And the backup plan really here is uh, to make sure that people are also boosted. The health department targets to implement the voluntary wearing of face masks on the last quarter of the year, but points out the necessity to increase the COVID-19 booster rate. The DILG appears to local government units to intensify their booster shot vaccination. The National Booster Week kicks off on September 26 to September 29. Kalei Zalpardilia for The Nation.